the new girl at school became my best friend. <laughs> well, we thought it was just a normal elevator, but it turned out to be a time machine. Really? That is so weird. I know. Anyways, we went back in time, and then I had to return to the present. We had the neighbor send us back to the present, but he accidentally sent us into the future, where there are like a bunch of aliens in a nightclub. This is so crazy, Mackenzie. What kind of person thinks of this stuff? Crazy people. Exactly, Mackenzie. You're crazy. I guess so. So, what do you think all that means? That time travel dream? I don't think it means anything. I don't think it's any alternate timeline. Right? That'd be insane. Right? Completely insane. So, do you have any plans for the weekend? I don't know. I was just gonna sleep for the majority of it. Yeah, me too. Cool. Sleep is really fun. It's so much fun. Two hours later. Sleep is so much fun. It's the best thing ever. I'm probably gonna go to sleep when school starts, actually. Yeah, me too. All right, come on. Let's go to class then. Mackenzie, Sky, what are you doing back here? You, you're supposed to be banished. Our town banished you after you stole Sky from me. So I revealed that you killed your ex-boyfriend. I was there too. I struck a deal with the mayor, actually. A deal? What kind of a deal? I just promised that it wouldn't hurt anyone, and he let me come back to the town. That makes sense. I guess. No, it doesn't. That doesn't make sense at all. Mackenzie, you know, you look so cute today. I do? Well, thanks. Mackenzie, you're falling for her trap. What trap? There's no trap, Mackenzie. Don't worry. She said there's no trap, Sky. She's lying. Are you lying, Riley? I'm not lying. She said she's not lying, Sky. Mackenzie, don't be stupid. That's not very nice, Sky. Yeah, it really wasn't very nice, Sky. You should be nicer. Ugh, let's go, Mackenzie. See you later. She seems a lot nicer now. They're falling for her trap, Mackenzie. You better be careful around her. I don't know. I think she might just be nice now. Oh, boy. We got to be careful now, Mackenzie. She is trouble. I can just tell. I think you're just being paranoid, Sky. No, Mackenzie. She's bad news. I really don't like bad news. Exactly. So stay away from her. All right. If you say so. A few moments later. the color blue was until I was like 10. Mackenzie! Huh? Oh, right. See ya, Mackenzie. Bye. Wow, what a nice girl. Mackenzie, come on. Oh, right, my bad. Moments later. All right, I'm done with my bathroom break now, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, come on. Huh? Oh, right, sorry. Bye, Mackenzie. Bye, Riley. <laughs> what a nice girl. Mackenzie, you gotta stop this. I'm sorry. Three hours later. She told me she was going to get me tickets to this concert. What concert? I don't know the band, but it sounds cool. You're going to go to a concert for a band that you've never heard of? Exactly. Isn't that cool? Not really. No. Yeah, I think I just want to experience a concert. I've never been to one. You've gone to tons of concerts, Mackenzie. I have? Oh, man. Right. I must have forgotten. Come on. Let's go home. Whoa. Look at these cars. That is the best car I have ever seen. Oh, there you are, Mackenzie. Is this your car, Riley? No, it's yours. Wait, what? I'm confused. I bought this car for you. For me? Oh, no. Mackenzie, resist. You bought this car for me. It's yours, Mackenzie. Oh, my goodness. This is the greatest day of my entire life. Do you, you want to drive it around? Sure. Sky, you want to come? I don't know. Oh, there's only two seats. Let's go then, Riley. Let's do it. Great. 20 minutes later. This is the worst day of my life. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this. Oh, hey, Sky. What's going on? Just getting something to eat. Oh, what would you like to eat? Nothing right now. Leave me alone. Can I talk to you, Mackenzie? Sure. Like, over there for a second, I need to talk to you privately. It's all right, Mackenzie. You go talk to Sky privately for a second and then come back over here so we can order some ice cream. Oh. I love ice cream. So, what's up, Sky? I have a really bad feeling about all of this, Mackenzie. Nobody just buys a Lamborghini for another person. This just doesn't make any sense. I know, but Riley's just so nice. She's one of a kind. Mackenzie, I think you hanging out with her is a bad idea. It's fine, Sky. We're just getting something to eat. It's not that big of a deal. All right, if you say so. All right, let's go get some ice cream. One week later. Yeah, it was really funny. Ridiculously 
everybody. You know, Mackenzie, we haven't hung out in a week. Ever since you started hanging out with Riley, we haven't really spent any time together. I know, I've just been so busy. Busy with what? Well, I went skydiving with Riley, and then I went to California with her, and then we... Exactly! You're spending all your time with Riley, and I'm starting to feel a little lonely. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. You want to come hang out with us after school? I don't know, I don't really want to hang out with Riley. Just give her a shot, come on. Just hang out and see how nice she is. All right, fine. There we go. This is so exciting. Moments later. This is no fun at all. <laughs> that was so much fun. Yeah, sorry you couldn't play, Sky. Oh, that's all right, Riley. I just love watching you guys play together. Well, that's good. So, what now? We should go get some ice cream. I love ice cream. Me too. We are so similar, Mackenzie. Oh, but if you can't come, Sky, that's all right. We totally understand. No. She's nothing but super nice to you. She's so passive aggressive, it's ridiculous. Come on, it's not that bad. It's absolutely horrible. It's ridiculously horrible. I think you're being a little crazy. Mackenzie, I am telling you that this girl is the worst. Let's just go home and stop hanging out with her, please. But she's my friend. She's not your friend. She's using you. Using me? No, I think you're using me. What are you even talking about? You know what? You should go home. I'm gonna go get some ice cream with Riley. All right, fine. You go do that, but don't be surprised when she suddenly stabs you in the back. She won't stab me in the back. My reflexes are too good. Your reflexes are horrible. Why would you say that to me? That's horrible. The next day. This is so stupid. I hate everything. Jealous, huh? What? Yeah, I know what jealousy looks like. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm angry. Great. Same thing in your case. What are you even talking about, Clint Douglas? I want to help you out. What? You want to help me? Why? Well, I'm Clint Douglas. I love helping people. Also, that Riley girl is so scary. I want to get rid of her. Really? All right. Uh, what are you thinking then? Oh, I know exactly what we need to do. Is that so? Do tell. A few moments later. Oh! Several days later. It's too bad no one else could come. Wasn't Clint Douglas the guy who set all of this up? Where is he? He's sick. Everyone in our class is sick, actually. Really? That's crazy. Do you think they're all gonna die? I don't think so, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. They could die. Sure they could. Now, it should be somewhere around here, actually. We're deep in the woods now. We could end up being lost here. Oh, I seriously doubt that. We're all gonna be just fine. Come on. Stop right there! Oh no, a wilderness ninja! You're coming with me! What's going on here? Get your hands off of me! Sky, what are you doing? Just keep walking, Mackenzie! Sky, we need to save Riley! The ninja's got her! She'll be alright! How do you know? They could hurt her! I just know! Now keep walking! Did you set all of this up? Did you do this? Riley is going to a surprise party for herself! A surprise party? I wanna go! We weren't invited, Mackenzie! I guess we're just not cool enough. Oh, I want to go to the party. We can't go to the party, Mackenzie. Let's go. Fine, but I'm sad now. Yeah, I understand. Hey, Sky. What's up, Mackenzie? Is something wrong? I'm sorry for abandoning you for Riley. Really? You are? Yeah, you're my best friend, and best friends don't abandon each other. That means a lot to me, Mackenzie. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm still mad we're not allowed to go to that party, though. You don't want to go to that party, Mackenzie. But I love parties. Not these kinds of parties. You would hate it there. Is it a karaoke party? Do you hate karaoke parties? Yeah, I absolutely despise karaoke parties. Then it's a karaoke party. Man, that's too bad. I wish it was a cool party. Poor Riley. I'm sure Riley will love it there. Does Riley like karaoke parties? Yeah, she loves them. Oh, gross. I hate her now. You hate her because she loves karaoke parties? Yeah, exactly. You are really weird, Mackenzie. You know that? Yeah, I do. It's one of my greatest features. You think so? 
I know so. Being weird is really cool. I agree, actually. Now, come on. Let's go get some ice cream. I love ice cream. I do, too. And that's why we're best friends. That's right, Mackenzie. So, Riley really loves karaoke parties? Oh, she adores them. Meanwhile, this isn't good. I didn't mean to knock her out. She ran into my fist. Why was your hand in the shape of a fist? I don't know. I'm sorry. Should we just leave her here? We should take her to a doctor. You think so? Yes. What if she doesn't wake up? Uh, where am I? Ah! Run! Where am I? Hello? Hello? Help me! Man, I should have known that whole camping trip was a trap. I'll get you for this guy and your little friend Mackenzie too. Hello? Is there someone there? Come on, show yourself. It's a girl. What should we do? Let's leave her here. What? That's crazy. What are you guys talking about? Stop talking. Yeah, she's annoying. Let's leave her here. Hold it! Stop right there, homeless people! How do you know we're homeless? It's probably the clothes. What are you talking about? I dress pretty nice, I think. You're homeless. You can't dress nice when you're homeless. Well, I do. Then how'd she know we're homeless? It was probably your clothes, you disgusting pig. Hey, I'm proud that I dress like a disgusting pig. Well, you shouldn't be. Stop talking, please. I am so tired. Well, that's rude. Listen to me. I need your help. Why would we help you? Because I uh, don't really have a reason, but you will help me. Makes sense to me. Yeah, that's a good enough reason for me. Good. Now we're going to get you guys, Sky and Mackenzie. Yay! Here I come. You're a scary girl. You know that? Stop talking. Oh, sorry. So thank you guys so much for watching, and congratulations to Lucy Gymnast for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and come in.